Good morning everyone, welcome to this week's episode. In today's episode we are making our way down south to Uluru. Um, we've got a few stops on the way which we've just stopped at our first stop today which is Bitter Springs. Um, we did have a bit of a setback on yeah, leaving. We had, we're getting a bit of death wobbles through the steering wheel and the <laughs> whole car started to shake. The bushes in the panhard rod were buggered so I replaced them the other day and we're good for now so <laughs> yeah so we're working yeah. fine so yeah we're now we've made our way down to bitter springs and this is our first stop on our way down south so we've made it to the springs they are thermal pools that get up to about 33 degrees bitter springs is located in mataranka we actually stayed at the bitter springs camping ground which is just up the road um, which was 35 dollars for an unpowered site per night for two of us um, so yeah we've been able to come down bright and early <laughs> Just had a beautiful swim at Bitter Springs and we're now just going to head back to the caravan park and pick up the boat and have a shower before we head off just to refresh and then we will continue further south. We've just made a quick stop at the iconic Dally Waters pub. We have now made our way to tonight's camp, which is at the Devil's Marbles. Um, the camping here is $10 per person per night, and then you do also have to pay for the NT pass, which is $10 per person as well. Um, this is just, we just paid for a day pass just to come and see the marbles, and then we're just spending one night here. Just as another stopover. It's so cool. made it to Uluru. It was such a big drive today from Devil's Marbles but we've just come into the National Park and we're gonna sit here for sunset and watch the beautiful sunset colours over the rock while we make dinner. <laughs> the sunset viewing spot but you can see the sunrise here too um, yeah to watch the sunrise over Uluru which is incredible it is the coldest we have experienced in Freezing. months <laughs> it's like 18 degrees but still <laughs> for us it is so cold <laughs> it's been about three months since we've experienced weather this cold. <laughs> So there was a school group that had hired out majority of the bikes, so there was no bikes available to do the base walk. So we've decided to come to Carter Judah first instead um, and do the Valley of the Winds walk. And then we'll do the bikes. Yeah, and morning. then we'll do the bikes tomorrow morning instead. We'll so we've just it. switched our days. But yeah, we'll book it and make sure we've got time to do it.
So we just finished the Valley of the Winds walk and we've now made our way to Walpa Gorge which is just a little bit further along from the Valley of the Winds walk. Um, it is a bit of a shorter walk but we're gonna check it out too. day two and we are about to grab our bikes to start our ride around Wallaroo. We have finished up at Uluru, which is so crazy. It was such a beautiful place that we got to see. Um, I did just want to go through where we camped whilst we were there. Um, so there is the town of Yulara, which is where Uluru pretty much is, um, which you can camp there at the caravan park, but it was a bit pricey, so we opted to free camp. Um, we found a free camp which was 10 minutes out of Yulara, um, out of the national park, so you are allowed to camp there. There was no sign saying that you couldn't. Um, and there was other campers around too, so it felt quite safe. Um, this isn't on any maps that we have to find our camps, um, but we did find the coordinates. So if you are looking for it, it's 10 minutes out. And if you can't find it, um, send us a message on Instagram because I have the coordinates for that one. Um, we, you can also stay at Curtin Springs, which is about an hour out of Yulara. Um, and there they have unpowered sites which are free um, but you do just pay five dollars for showers so on our way out today we stopped in there and paid the five bucks and got to have a shower um, and then we've now made our way to Kings Canyon so tonight we are camping at a free campground just out of the National Park again um, I think it's called Valley of the Temp and I think it has a different name on wiki camps um, but it's pretty easy to find just out. It's a 24 hour stopover and it's signed and everything like that. Um, but yeah, so our plan tomorrow is to check out Kings Canyon and that will be our final destination that we're gonna see in Central Australia. So we're up early and we've made it to Kings Canyon and we're about to do the Kings Canyon Rim Walk, which is the six kilometer walk around the rim of the canyon.
to the car park. We have completed the Kings Canyon rim walk. Was it two and a half hours? Yeah, it took us about two and a half hours. It's listed as three to four, but yeah, we did it pretty quick. We also stopped and took some photos and stuff. So yeah, it was, you could probably do it quicker if you were just to keep going. Um, but yeah, we're going to leave today's video here. Um, that's it for our Central Australia experience and, and as well as our Northern Queensland. Territory experience. Yep. So yeah, we'll see you ne next week and we'll be in a new state. Bye. Bye.